goalie gear time and I'll be showing you guys what's in my hockey bag or hockey bags both of these and go through a little bit about my stick as well with the help of Nuka today hopefully she doesn't interrupt me too much so I guess I can go through the stick first uh, CCM Premier 2 I've had these CCM sticks for a few years now pretty basic tape job I have the rounded toe and I also do the, the trigger grip here. It's actually pretty modified here. I'm bringing this down as well. Uh, just kind of helps with the grip. Grip I have here. I have a lot more control, I feel like, when I have the trigger grip and kind of throw some rolls on the tape there. And the knob I have, I switched to like a bigger knob this past season. So other than that, pretty basic stick. I don't know if you guys can see the see the curve at all, but gets the job done. We can hop into the hockey bags here. We can open this one first. So I got two bags I travel with. There, I think they're both player-sized bags. Just easier to get all the stuff in there. So I got the gloves and the bats in this one. Uh, here's actually a brand new, brand new glove. I think it's. Uh, it has 2X Pro on it, but I feel like it's the Supreme. I switched over to Bauer last summer when I just tested Freddie Anderson's old gear and liked it. And I especially like the, how open the pocket is. I, this part is pretty thin for compared to the other Bauer. So, and I got some soft, soft skate lace in there as well. And it's, it's been working out great for me actually. I feel like I can catch catch every puck pretty well and then here's the blocker for it um, this is the ultrasonic one I don't know if you can you can probably barely see it but it's super comfortable the palm is nice I think it's a little smaller than the normal because I kind of I need a little small smaller one I like the tighter fit but other than that super light rebounds just fly off this thing um, I like the balance of it so it uh, Blocker is just a blocker, right? But it's working out for me. And here's the pads. Uh, I think these are marked as the vapors as well. And but I do think these are one S or two S, especially if you see the strapping. It's pretty much the same one as what Freddie had. Freddie had. I used the strap here from the knee block that goes in the skin. Uh, and this one is the Digi, Digi print by Bauer. Really turned liked how these turned out. Um, very nice and light pad. Still has the sniff, stiffness on them. Um, so yeah, and like one thing I really liked when I tried these on, I know like some of you guys probably think it's a little different, but I like how loose the knee block was when I went down it kind of gave me the flexibility and felt comfortable in, the, in my butterfly so that's that's what I can say about that so and the last thing in that bag was these brands knee guards they're pretty a little oversized but very comfortable they're like broken in right away um, I use them with the belt they didn't come with a belt so I have a Vaughn belt with them uh, but yeah, very, had no issues, very, very uh, comfortable going down. And then it's bag number two. So here I got the, uh, the true skates. I switched to the two piece, um, I would say about a year and a half ago from the one pieces. And I, I love the one piece, but then when I tried the two pieces, I felt like I had way more of an, uh, like attack angle moving forward so it's easier to uh, do T pushes but these things are these things are great I they like first time you put them on they're like the best skates you ever had um, and I could literally go to a game with brand new skates uh, I had not, no issues in here um, I got the CCM pants when I uh, four years ago when I signed to Leafs and uh, went to the Marley's and these are the pants that they pretty much gave me the CCM ones. I was in Brian's before uh, 
and <laughs> they were so mobile and comfortable and haven't had any reasons to switch since and wear them. I wear my chesty tucked in so use the suspenders on the top. And then uh, before we get to the chesty, I wear uh, the neck guard. I think this is like the old Reebok CCM, like a, a shirt. I like how thick it is up here. It makes me feel protected and kind of solid up there. I do cut the back out. I feel like it was getting a little too warm. So it's just kind of like a front, front shirt. Uh, but yeah, very, very protective on the collarbones and the throat as well. For, uh, for Chesty, I used to have wands for a bit since college. And then when Brian's came with their optics, uh, it, it, this thing is like a tank. It was, I think it was when the rules changed that um, the bond just felt really small and obviously all the chest protectors were a little different at the time because of the new rules but this has been awesome very mobile um a, a tank mobile tank very protective had no issues with it um yeah it makes me feel big in the net and also protected so i think that's the that's the most important part of the whole thing and then, uh, kind of protect the boys. So just a basic double cup brines. No issues there, luckily. So I think this is the one you've been waiting for. It's the mask, the coveted two piece combo. I've had a lot of questions about this one. Uh, but for me, what it comes down to is um, it's just so protective. Fit is great. Uh, Visibility is awesome. Ventilation is great. Here you can see. I mean, it's a little different than because it's uh, it is the two piece. But the white jaw actually is really nice for me. I've had some issues with the with the traditional masks that the the jaw is kind of too thin. And with this one, it's so wide open, it's so comfortable. Uh, had no issues with shots. I feel like it comes from the fit. Um, and yeah, it, when it's the face cut out, it's opened a little bit more. I can see down very easily. There's no restrictions looking down. Um, and the ventilation is great. Uh, but so all in all, I, and I, I, I like how it looks, just like the old school, the Chris Osgood style helmet. So. I feel like it almost protects me better since the fit is so much better than any shots that I've had. It's just, I feel nothing because the mask fits so great. So I gotta give uh, big props to Ron. Ron at Coveted Mask because this was in process trying to put this together. And um, I visited his shop way too many, many times and trying to get the right um, details and fit together and how I want it to look. So from their basic model, we just kind of dropped the cage a little bit further down, which brought the chin piece down um, and made it fit way better for me. So if you're on the fence, I highly recommend um, to at least test out the two piece and covet it in general. They're great customer service and great quality product had no issues with them for the last few years so I think the last thing I pretty much have here is the this little bag that I have carry with me everywhere um, so before games I like to uh, do some juggling so I have three of these balls but they have like different patterns and uh, numbers on them so when I juggle I like to focus on those numbers and get the get the ice going a little bit and the um, there's some extra straps in here, some tape. The other piece I wanted to show you guys is, if I can find it here. So it's this, I use peppermint oil. I put it on my, my neck and like uh, under my nose 
before going out on the ice every time. Definitely like some of those hot rinks, it keeps me cool and definitely helps with the, the breathing and not overheating as much. So, but I think other than that, we made a mess. That's pretty much it for, for the gear I have. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Um, I try to answer them as best as I can and uh, we'll see we'll see what kind of setup I run with for 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 next season but so yeah thanks guys for watching